After five months, the Hollywood writer's strike has officially been lifted. And of course, that means that a lot of people in the entertainment industry are about to go back to work. Still some things to work out with the actors still on strike, but most people assume that'll be taken care of pretty quickly. But unfortunately, the lifting of the writer's strike also means that some people, some comedians who have been unable to write their own jokes for the past five months because they rely on a team of people to do it for them, it also means that they are going back to work. That's right. Late night shows, all the late night hosts who got together for the Strike Force 5 podcast, well, they are going back to work. Late night shows set post writer strike return dates. All of the Strike Force 5 hosts will resume their shows in early October. Now, of course, we remember when all the late night show hosts that have been failing for the past several years, miserable ratings, pathetic shows that have just revolved into pushing a political agenda over and over again instead of making people laugh and entertaining people. Jimmy Kimmel, Jimmy Fallon, Seth Meyers, Stephen Colbert, all of these people, they got together because they didn't want to pay their writers anymore. So they got together to do a Strike Force 5 podcast with all the proceeds going to the striking workers. And of course, it revealed to everyone just how fucking unfunny these people are without a team of writers behind them. But they've all come out and announced that the first Monday in October, Monday, October 2nd, that they'll all be going back to work. And as we've seen over the last several years, late night TV has been dying. Uh, these people don't hold the same sway that they used to. 15 years ago, when the writers went on strike and a lot of these programs went off air, there was a lot of call to action from normal people, from fans, from the audience members who wanted their entertainment back, who wanted their late night shows back, who wanted all this stuff back. That has not been the case when it came to this strike, in large part because no one's watching these people anymore. In fact, Fox News, late night on Fox News, has had better ratings by far, destroying the traditional late night show hosts in the ratings department because people were sick and tired of their political agenda. Certainly not to say Greg Gutfeld doesn't have one, but at least he's honest about it. Whereas all of these guys, Kimmel, Fallon, Colbert, they have been dropping in the ratings year after year. No one is paying attention to them anymore, which is why when they went off air... Nobody was really begging for them to come back. It used to be for these late night shows, they took shots at both sides. Of course, one host or the other might have a political slant, but the point was to make people laugh, to entertain people. That was the point, not to push an ideology, not to push a vaccine, not to push COVID fear porn like Jimmy Kimmel. No, it was to entertain America. That is no longer what these shows are about. And as a result, people have tuned out. Uh, and it was nice to have five months without these morons on air, on set. Well, unfortunately, that all comes to an end beginning of October. What do you guys think about the Strike Force 5? The ones who revealed to the entire country just how unfunny they actually are without all the production behind the scenes in their ridiculous podcast. They're finally coming back. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later.